guys welcome back to my channel this week's video is something i've only ever done one time but it was like in 2015 and the video's private so as you can tell by the title we are going to do five hairstyles for short to medium length hair i've never had like actually like short hair it hasn't even been a year yet so if you don't know i used to have a really long hair like really long too it was like a finger away from my belly button if that makes sense as you can tell i'm already editing it because i just filmed but okay my hair was long but not that long i was being um a little over dramatic but it was such a struggle for me when i first got this hair because i did not know how to do anything like anything at all with the short hair nothing would work out so i figured out that these hairstyles worked best for me and that i like the best that look on that look the best on me. That's what I meant. So I hope these are kind of helpful. So let's get started. Okay, so the first hairstyle is obviously straight. Um, straight is always my go-to hairstyle. I've been straightening my hair since I was like in sixth grade, even with long hair, obviously. But the hair straightener that I currently have is the GVP hair straightener. It's like this pink and sparkly. I got this from Sally's. I only get my hot um, iron tools from Sally's. And when I actually bought this online, I, <laughs> less than a year ago, I got a free curling iron with it and I got to pick the size and everything, which is pretty darn cool. And I feel like they do that often. So I think, it's a really good place or I got a curling iron three-in-one sent to me which is literally my favorite curling iron but we'll talk about that later so the first one is to have your hair straight the second hairstyle we are going to do a little half not really half up half down but kind of little ponytail thing um we are going to just part it up I like to have my hair in the middle parted, but you just go on the sides of it and then you pull it up and like not all of my hair is like really straight in the best right now, but you just go like this and then literally tie it. And sometimes this is kind of like my lazy go-to style and i feel like sometimes for me the style only goes with certain i guess outfits if that makes sense like it doesn't always look cute with everything so it's a little ponytail that's number two <laughs> the little half up half down ponytail and yeah okay so the next hairstyle is going to be a little bun little messy bun on top um, I've always thought this looked so cute on um, girls and it never worked out for me because I had just such long hair and it just didn't work and my hair is getting to the point where it's very l long enough to where this doesn't work always the best. Um, this is the little bun. It just looks like this and I like the hairs to stick out like on the side. I don't know why. It makes it like less neat I guess um so yeah a lot of times it doesn't actually work out this easy I always have to pin down hairs or like I guess sculpture it if that makes sense so this is number two okay so the second hairstyle we're gonna need your hair parted um I like mine parted in the middle but then you're gonna have to part it again down the middle and then hold this Oops. section it like that just so it doesn't get in the way of the other one and then my hair like always falls out already so i just go like that and then just like how you do a little messy bun on top it's literally gonna do space buns oh i forgot to mention that in the beginning but we're doing little space buns so you just take your hair tie and then go like this and then kind of just like yeah go like that i don't think it's like that hard it doesn't always look the best but then you just do it to the other side 
and I've only done that hairstyle like a couple times but when I did it wasn't like that bad um, I was never really a space buns kind of girl I never thought it looked that good on me but then you're just gonna do it again to the other side and also like if it doesn't like look like how you want it to you can also just again bobby pin it and like what you want looks like this just looks like this um yeah so it's another easy one and now next hairstyle okay so this next hairstyle is a little bit harder um, I'm very good at braiding, like I've just always been good at braiding. So this next one we are going to, again, part it in the middle, one more time, and then tie it to the side. So Dutch braiding is very easy once you learn how to do it. I've been Dutch braiding since, I don't even know, I just kind of made it up and then I realized it's actually a real hairstyle. Um, but instead of brush braiding, how you put the hair on top, so you're going to go under, and then under again, and then you're going to grab this and take it to the middle, and then pull it down, and then again, hair under, and goes to the middle, and you literally just repeat that until the end. Okay, so once you're finished punch braiding, I like to take some pieces out in the sides right here and then I just like to straighten it. But you can either finish it into a regular braid all the way down or you can put it into another space bun or put it in a ponytail. For today, I am just going to French braid it all the way down. So it's just like that. Um, now on to the next one. Okay, so there's a like clip missing. I don't know where it went and I can't find it. But anyways, um, I finished the other side of the braid. And then what else I said is you can do is you can pull the braids apart like this. But it looks kind of best when you have thicker hair. Um, but yeah, that's what I normally do with my braids to make it not look as tight. Because I don't really like... My hair to look um, tight. I like the looser kind of sometimes messier kind of look if that makes sense. But yeah. So the next hairstyle is literally just a messy bun. Like that is what is sometimes really just my go-to. But I'm going to save this for a different video because I might do a video that is like I guess harder and extreme braiding. <laughs> and pull out the sides that's just something that i like it's very easy something that is a little more extreme and harder is i'll try to find a picture and if i do find it i'll insert it here is something that is also my go-to and i kind of just taught myself and it's really hard for some people and braiding just comes naturally to me like the only braid i really don't know how to do is a waterfall braid and that used to be so popular a while ago couple years ago um but yeah i will normally just punch braid it up into a ponytail or a messy bun normally a messy bun because you can see it better than in a ponytail i like to have mine a little more higher but since i have shorter hair it doesn't stay up and it bothers me a lot to have like a million bobby pins back here so sometimes i'll just use the big sexy hair hairspray and just like spray it a little bit and then like lightly push it push it up or I'll use like a comb to push it up um so literally just like this um and yeah I'm like I'll push the hair back and maybe I'll bobby pin it a few times or if there's like bumps or something because I'm like what the heck in the world was that face a perfectionist when it comes to my hair I hate having like hair sticking hairs sticking out and stuff um, but another trick, if it doesn't go the way you want, because you see how some of my hairs will sometimes fall out like that, I will literally just tuck it into the side and like bobby pin it. That's another trick for when you don't want to keep redoing it because it literally gets really annoying. Um, having to do that a million times. These are some of my go-to hairstyles. 
and things that I find really easy for short medium hair and this is all things that I literally like had to learn on my own I yeah so when it comes to braiding I know it's harder and not everyone can do it but if you guys do want a harder braiding video comment down below because I have some really cute hairstyles maybe not always every day or just for events just different braiding hairstyles that I just love to do and that I taught myself um, I can totally do a video on that Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.